Hey everybody, exciting day today. I'm gonna go ahead and try for the first time ever mounting an Insta360 cam to the Beaver. Do a test flight here. Uh, I've just, I've done a real simple, just kinda stuck it in there with a bolt and uh, put some tape around it to hopefully hold it. Uh, it seems on there pretty good, so let's see how it goes, huh? Okay, 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 thank you everybody, thank you sir, you can sit down. Uh, as you can see, that was my first flight with the Insta360 camera attached to the DHC Turbo Beaver, and of course it flipped upside down and landed in a puddle of water. <laughs> Fortunately, it dried off pretty well, it gave it a couple good blows, and it seems to be working just fine. So let's go ahead and get back in the air, we'll talk a little bit about the camera. So as you can see here, you can certainly get some amazing shots. The unique thing about this camera is that you actually film all angles at once, and then in post-production you have the ability to choose the angle that you want to use. And you can also do something called Tiny Planet, which is where you zoom completely out and you use both lenses, and it kind of creates the illusion of a tiny planet with the plane. It's kind of unique, it's kind of fun. Here's a couple clips showing off the, the skills of the pilot and the camera itself. So the goal here was simply to capture some inverted flight footage. However, the plane pitched into a pretty hard nosedive because I still had my flaps down from an earlier takeoff. This resulted in footage more fitting for a World War II movie than this review maybe, but it works pretty well for what we're about to talk about. Camera stabilization essentially keeps the shot consistent and moves the camera around the shot. It's very apparent when you're going upside down because you can see the plane is moving around the scene instead of the scene moving with the plane itself. And in these next couple shots, you'll see that I've turned off the stabilization so the camera is more fixed to the plane itself and the scenery around the plane does all the movement. Now here in this shot, we're actually back to the stabilized view, which makes it so the plane has a little bit more movement, a little bit more feel which actually I really like, especially during takeoffs and landings, as it really gives the impression of being inside the plane versus being a camera mounted on the outside of the plane. Yeah, that was too much. That was almost a near crash with the Beaver and the 360 cam. Crazy trick, hopefully the footage turned out good, huh? Go back to the lab and check it out. So the first thing we'll talk about is wind noise. If you have a microphone in a windy environment or flying through the air in this case, of course you're going to get a lot of staticky wind noise. Uh, a couple things you could do to fix that would be to use an actual microphone cover or possibly just a piece of cotton or wool. The second issue we'll talk about is image stitching. A good example of this can be seen here on the stall fins, which appears to be broken. What's actually happening is the images taken by the camera are not perfectly mated together. This is caused by the camera being mounted too close to the subject, and the solution would be to mount the camera further away, which leads us to our third issue, the tiny planet. When using the tiny planet feature, the airplane takes on the appearance of a balloon or a giant whale. 
The reason for this, again, like the stitching issue, is the camera being mounted too close to the plane. If we were to mount the camera further from the airplane, you would likely resolve both the stitching issue as well as the distortion caused when doing the tiny planet. However, you would likely create flying and instability issues with the plane because you're moving the weight of the camera further from the center of gravity. Now, I have yet to attempt mounting the camera like this, however I will create an episode if I have success or failure with it. But that about wraps up this review of the Insta360 camera. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future episodes. Until next time guys, Pete the Pilot, signing out.